Congrats on the movie. Thank you very much. Great, good fun. I mean, I can imagine it brings up a lot of uh, your own family memories because it's one of those movies Don't that. Don't start me. <laughs> <laughs> but it is one of those movies that you can see your own kind of Christmases yeah. in it. I mean, did you find that when you were making the movie? Absolutely. I think everyone can relate to all the moments, even if you're, not, you know. Even if you don't have to slaughter your own turkey or uh, your bathroom's leaking from your bedroom ceiling, there's all, there's something relatable in it for everybody. Yeah. yeah, people getting in the wrong beds and all the other mystery. <laughs> I mean, your character's kind of the epicenter of yeah. everything, so she has to deal with almost yeah, all these other things going the, on around the, her. The, the normal one in amongst yeah. the sort of this strange cacophony of madness that often Christmases are when you get the whole family together. Yeah. What was it like working with James? Because I mean, I can imagine it's strange when the writer of Fatal Attraction says he's going to do a Christmas know, movie, know, but right? but he seems to be pretty good at it. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> he's great. Like it was, it was great working with him. He was very laid back. He was very easy. He knew what he wanted, and yeah, just sort of easy and fun. Yeah. Are you someone that gets into the Christmas spirit in November? I mean, are you in the zone now, or are you when December first hits? That's that's I'm, when the time happens. I feel like I've just I'm I'm just I'm being zoned. I, I've been sort of under a rock, yeah. um, denying the uh, Christmas denier, so to speak. But yeah, it's happening, isn't it? So I'm I'm on the sleigh. I'm ready. <laughs> Take me there. Noddy Holder singing behind us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just away from this, I mean, obviously Game of Thrones is coming to an mm -hmm. end. I Good mean, luck with your questions. What yeah. you want to know? Well, I'm mean, not going to tell. Well, us I'll tell you either. how it ends. <gasps> Imagine I did, because I do it. know. There must be a sniper around. If you tickle me hard enough. <laughs> but I mean, it must be great that, that you're going to show the fans how it ends. But also, it must be bittersweet that it is coming to an end after so many years. Yeah, but it's important that these brilliant things end, isn't it? Otherwise, you end up doing neighbours. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no one was that. There's no harm in doing neighbours, is it? <laughs> there is no harm in doing neighbours. Oh my God, now I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> neighbours is brilliant. I watched it for many years. Past tense. I watch Peppa Pig now for other reasons. But, yeah, it's got to end, hasn't it? It's going to be spin-offs and stuff, isn't there? And prequels and everything yeah, else sure. coming. So people will be uh, sure. well served, I think. Well served, well served yeah. indeed. Thank you so much for your time. No Absolute worries. pleasure. Have Thank you. Christmas. You too. When when you got this script and you found out it was from the writer of Fatal Attraction, did you think it was going to be something? I thought bit more I was sinister? going to be the mother of the bunny coming back to seek revenge. That's what I thought it was going to be. But um, I, I know. I, actually, it's interesting because we did. We it, did wonder. No, it I, it's the opposite of what you would ever imagine. But it's an interesting hybrid, actually, because it's, it's a lot, he's a great writer. But it's a sort of interesting mixture. It is funny, but it's there is quite a lot of pathos in it, and you know. And the turkey gets boiled. The turkey, gets, maybe. The turkey, the turkey. It's a turkey boiler. <laughs> yes. I'll just take your line and just <laughs> and yes, make it's it better. It's a turkey boiler. <laughs> Um, yeah. Are you, are you guys into the Christmas spirit now? Are you, are you people that no. when it hits November you get to Christmas no. or December uh, you got to wait? Till... I'm last minute dot, dot oh, com. I mean, yesterday I was literally crying to friend going, oh, I don't have anything to what? I mean, just take that and supplant it to sort of Christmas week. It's a nightmare. And I, like Michael, I've sort of created a rod for my own back because I do the full Christmas thing, oh, and then anything it, less than that is not. We don't have you don't have Thanksgiving, so I feel like England right after Halloween starts to get it becomes it's a whole soon, season. I, I love it. I mean, it's too soon. It's like the film really captures the, the Christmas essence because you have such a big, you know, family dynamic, and yeah, it's, it's very true cast. across across the world that that's how most Christmases go sometimes. Yes, I dare anybody to have a family gathering and not have yeah. some that's bit really of combustion. The basis. I think James felt there was lots of kind of you know, stories that he had of a slightly kind of, you know, maybe slightly dysfunctional family gatherings and, you know, there's a lot of comedic potential in those. Fantastic company of actors. Yeah, uh, really wonderful. Together. I mean, what was that experience like? Because I can imagine so many people that you're kind of trepidatious well, against slightly. With but... so many people, there was a huge element of chaos, but that actually worked really well for the film because there always seems to be an element of chaos at Christmas. It made it really fun in terms of the chats in between scenes. And um, they were not only really fun people, but really cool people. So everyone had great stories. And, and there was a, a general feeling of enormous warmth in, um, unlike tonight, um, in the way that there is when uh, a group of people are trying to sort of uh, make something work together. Um, you know, there, there's a... a, a 
I think there's a sort of very old-fashioned preconception that actors don't get along and that they're competitive with each other and actually that's not the case. Everyone's very much on each other's side and have each other's backs. You are cold. You are shaking more than I am. <laughs> I, was not, I was nodding. I was actually just going to ask. Oh, were you nodding? <laughs> I, was, I was nodding along. I was, I was just, I am chilly, but not probably chilly to you. Um, I'm just wondering about the improvisation. Um, how, how, do you, how do you find that? I mean, is, is that something you like to do on projects? I love improvisation. Um, there wasn't, script-wise, there wasn't improvisation on this. Apart from a couple of little things, again, I don't know if I'm giving it away, but like um, when I say goodbye to my sister, uh, I came up with the line because I'm playing a, um, a character who's an actress who's an absolute narcissist. She's a, also an absolute cow. And um, her parting line to her sister, because there's a whole problem with the internet being down. And she said, when it's back up again, follow me on Instagram. And James liked that line, and so he kept that in. So a little bit of intro, but it's more the physical comedies improvised. The poster sets quite a, a tone for the film, and the writer of Fatal Attraction takes on Christmas. Does that, does that set the tone for the film? Or is well, that it's kind not of that horrendous. <laughs> um, there's no knives, there's no you know mad stalkers, but it's it's got elements of of you know tempers lost and there was this little bit of drug taking <laughs> it didn't get a everybody said we've got to get a whatever what is it for what kids is it? Um, you know the PG. best PG, PG. no not even no PG way. they wanted the, whatever you is everyone can go PG's already quite bad because your parents have to say yes it's okay to see that movie we got a 15 we, we um, want, it was nearly going to be an X at, no, one, at point. one point they worry about an 18 it's fine it is a little bit raunchy here and there but it's kind of an innocent fan I wouldn't mind my 8 year old seeing it put it I don't have an 8 year old but if I still had one I'd be very happy to see it uh, I mean, in terms of writing the movie, I mean, how much do you take from your own life and how much Quite kind of lot. from second-hand oh. experience or...? Mo mostly first-hand, unfortunately. <laughs> Anything specific? No, I'm not going to go into detail. Well. <laughs> no, you be quiet. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a great company of actors who seem yeah, to have no, gone. made it. We had a great I mean, that must be great to... When you, you write something, yeah. you hope that it comes together. It's always the joy of writing. You sit in your room miserable and lonely and thinking, oh, God, this is never going to get made or it's a pile of crap or whatever you think and then they come on and make it live and you think oh god it's actually not so bad after all and that's one of the great pleasures in making a movie yeah. and in terms of a Christmas in your household I mean are you in Christmas mode now or do you have to wait till we're December or the last year we're going we usually have like 25 people to stay and this year we're going away for the first time ever we're avoiding Christmas yeah, yeah. We've, thought, anyway, we've lived hot. it with the movie that's it yeah. somewhere hot I hope yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely <laughs> we're exhausted by Christmas <laughs> have a lovely Christmas Thank in you. your warm climate Bye. thanks so much uh, I can imagine when uh, you, uh, someone tells you you're going to get a script from the writer of Fatal Attraction that you maybe weren't expecting a, a Christmas family film. No, I mean, it, no, it's an interesting departure. He's such a nice man, James, and uh, he's a filmmaker, you know, so he can make a film about anything, really. I think he, he just struck gold when he was in his 20s, but he's gone on being um, a very good screenwriter, and it, it was lovely working with him. There's a great company of actors in this, but I wanted to ask about your sequences with, with Michael. I mean, they're some of the funniest moments in the film. I mean, what was it like kind of bringing those little funny moments to life? Um, well, we were... The, these days, you know, films have to be done on a fairly tight budget and, and rather rapidly, so we didn't have a lot of time to think about it. you just thrown in and then you just do whatever um, happens in the moment. We had lovely children on it who, who were very, very good, so that helped a lot as well. I can imagine it's it's one of those films as well, being about Christmas, that there's lots of uh, moments where you've you've been through it over the years, you know, family and everything else. I mean, what what for you is the, the kind of the most important thing that you love about Christmas? I think it's always about getting together with other people. I don't have any wish to have an isolated Christmas. I think it's um, and it's it's one of those things, those rituals, you know, you touch base. Um, I. I make sure I send Christmas cards to everybody, really, just because I think if you never speak to them the rest of the year, this is the time to at least reach out. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!